What's up everyone, Ninth Jim here, back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video. And today, we are doing episode 3 of Build and Battle, the new series in which we play and build a new team from scratch for you to see. So, we are going to be doing that today, and the team that we are going to be building is going to be around Indeedee, Female, and Hatterene. Now, this is actually going to be Hatterene G-Max, because... It's very, very powerful. So if you don't know what Hatterene does, it's G-Max move attacks with uh, the fairy type move. So we are going to be using fairy wind, no, dazzling gleam. Uh, so what it does is it confuses both opposing Pokemon. That's amazing. It goes through protect because, you know, protect only like protects from 75% of the damage. It doesn't stop the secondary effect. It doesn't stop all damage. Max guard does, however, you know, it's max guard. It's pretty good. Except, uh, Urshifu, uh, knock, 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 hello, um, Max Guard, hello, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, so, uh, Hatterene, we are talking about Dazzling Gleam, we're gonna be running Expanding Force on both of these Pokemon as well, because that is half of the reason these cards, cards, that is half the reason these guys are good, Expanding Force, Expanding Force, Double Expanding Force, very, very mighty. This is going to have Protect as well, and probably uh, Trick Room, because I like Trick Room still on this Pokemon. This is going to have zero speed. It's going to be Quiet Nature as well, and we're going to be running 252 and 252 here, and then uh, 4 in defense. So what we're going to be doing here, we're at 30 speed, very low. We're going to be down here. We're going to hit Follow Me. And then uh, we could also run um, uh, Protect on this Pokemon. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we will. We are going to run bold 252, 252. Um, you could run zero speed if you wanted to also, but we're not always going to be activating um, our trick room as well. 255, meta. 252, 252, four and a special attack probably. Go bold here as well. And then, uh, yeah, that's how we're going to run it. Item, I could do Cobra Berry even. I think we're just going to go a Psychic Seed that just gives us something easy. Um, easy to deal with. Psychic Seed here. Uh, not own tempo. Psychic Surge, please, senor. Please, senor, helping hand. And then we're going to go with Protect as well. Um, double Protect, I think it's good. Truck Room, I like that. I like that. I like that. Uh, should we go with Babbery or should we go with Life Orb? So, we're going Life Orb. So, I don't care. No balls. I have balls. Magic Bounce. Speaking of Bounce, I have Bounce. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to be running Life Orb. Yeah, I like that. And Didi Hatterene, what do we want that sets Trick Room? I, I do kind of want another Trick Room setter. Maybe Dusclops. Maybe not. It's kind of boring. Maybe Porygon. Porygon has a really good special attack stat too, and it can get Psychic, I think. Um, actually, dude, if it could get... Not Porygon. Uh, Porygon 2. Porygon 2. Uh, can it get Expanding Force? That would be so cool. Uh, it can't. It's fine. Psychic, it can get Psychic, so that can work with Indeedee as well. Um, you can go, actually I like that. Psychic, um, Dry Attack, um, Recover, and Trick Room. Could go Ally Switch too, I don't wanna. Um, minimize its speed here, we're also gonna go for, uh, I guess relaxed, very uh, defensive. 252 into here, uh, fine. So. 108 and 148. I'm sure somebody calculated some of those pretty well. <laughs> uh, it's okay. When we go to actually make our own spreads here, we'll change that up at one at some point. Anyway, so we have Indeedee, Hatterene, Porygon 2. Let's start filling in the blanks of some, just some like core stuff. So uh, I'm thinking probably Incineroar. I like... Did you see what I typed? I didn't even... Ignisaur? I, I don't know. Um, anyway, so item... Uh, we're going to run Guav. I don't want to... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's all I, all I really got to say. Anyway, so uh, Flare Blitz. We're going to run Throat Chop. We're going to run um, Parting Shot. We're going to run Fake Out. Easy enough. Uh, fake Out's like mediocre with DD, but that's fine. Uh, you could run like Snarl if you wanted, but eh. I'm not going to. Uh, 244, 236, 28. That's... What I've been running for like 10 years, even though eh, it's not the best calculated. Anyway, that's all I've been ran, running, so uh, yeah. And then uh, we ran uh, Careful Nature as well. So 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just realized you can't see my nature, so let me move that down a little. Boop. Now you can see natures. All right, so uh, Ndidi, Hatterene, Porygon, Incineroar. What else do we want on this team? We could just go Moongus. Uh, it would give us a really solid fire, water, grass core if we put in one more Pokemon that's a water type Pokemon. We are not very physical, um, so I would like this to be a water physical offensive boy. Maybe Gyarados? Like, maybe? Uh, that could be fine, I guess. Uh, Spore, Ridge, Powder. We're super, um, we're super follow me oriented now, which is cool. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to do Gyarados with uh, Dragon Dance. Because we have multiple different things here we could go for that i like that item intimidate i'll probably go moxie um just like thinking about it maybe a salt vest also but i kind of don't really want to go i don't really want to do that maybe walking walking i think i'm gonna go walking um yeah yeah bounce and then for speed control even though we're a very very slow team um we're a pretty hard trick room so maybe we'll go like a hard another trick room pokemon that has water coverage maybe pre-marine like pre-marine isn't hard trick room lapras actually probably lapras but then we're still you know all special i don't really hate being all special i don't think it's that bad there's not very many like just straight special walls i mean the center is like pretty like wally but like i mean this will be light uh light clay and then we'll get to uh, be very defensive with our team, which is good as well. So I think I'm going to do that. Spore Rage Powder item here is going to be uh, another Pinchberry. Pinchberry boys. Who pinching? Any pinchers in chat? Anyway, so we have Spore Rage Powder. We could go Pollen Puff and Protect. I think that's what I'm going to do. Palm Puff can attack and heal. Very, very good stuff. Old 252, 252 to 4 here. That's fine with me, too. I'm comfy with that. Um, and being at 50 speed, we could go min speed because we want to go Trick Room most of the time. But if we lead Lapras, and then, like, we would need to lead, like, Porygon 2 as well. Um, actually, so, yeah, the Psychic is cool, but how often are you going to lead Ndidi Porygon 2? That just doesn't seem like it's going to happen as much. And if it does, I think I'd rather this be ally switch most of the time anyway. So we're going to actually switch that to the same set we used the other day. I thought it was good. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. We just have to finish off Lapras real quick. Water absorb. This is going to be freeze dry. Hydro pump. We can go with hydro pump since we're going to max. So might as well get the most damage. Um, I'm going to run protect. And then probably uh, Thunderbolt's good actually because, uh, yeah, I like that. I think it's good. 60 here. 252 into special attack which is weird i know but it's fine 196 here and that'll be ours or should i go no that'll be um that'll be defense 196 and we'll go modest nature we're doing a lot of damage and we're pretty bulky here and after we uh set um our thing with like clay then we're in a good position we can also protect like turn one um with like rage powder or something uh or not rage powder with like trick room so this will be our most common like leads are going to be Ndidi Hatterene, uh, Lapras, Porygon 2, and then like anything like this. Um, we also don't have anything, unfortunately, that like really cares about um, Follow Me and Rage Powder. So Amoongus realistically should change and probably will to another offensive Mon um, that has grass coverage. But for now... This is what we're going with. Venusaur could maybe, but probably doesn't really make it much sense, so probably not. Um, Rotomo could work there as well. Um, also, another Pokemon that I could uh, switch Lapras out for is Azumarill. So we'll we'll test all of these things at a later date. But for now, this is the team we're playing. It's very, very basic with Hatterene and Didi, and then Porygon 2 as another um, Trick Room Setter. And then Amoongus, Lapras, Incineroar for a Wire Fodder Blood Lug Core. It's good. I think it'll be fine. Um, anyway, this is what we're going to run. So let's go ahead and run some games. Oh, I just realized something also. That our Lapras is not... Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, hold on. Um, so I just realized Lapras G-Max is what we wanted. 
that's a big mistake here because light clay does nothing if, if it's not G max and yeah so that was that was bad all right so we have a rain team with also whimsicott cinderace being a possible lead he has a moongus and rillaboom a lot of grass on his team making me not really want to start lapras because i feel like woodhammer might be able to take out g max lapras we could always go with a moongus on the lead as well though um but then if he leads with that uh the kingdra polytoad then he'll be able to max our stream maybe knock out Amoongus. i don't think it will i think we're bulky enough just bulky enough to live that kind of want to damage cock that but i don't know if we have time um, we could also go with Ndidi Hatterene lead that just seems positive, like, against everything. Um, he doesn't really have anything. Maybe Max Steel Spike and Hatterene would, like, be really bad. But then we could follow me and then set Trick Room and then be in a good position as well. So we're going to lead the Ndidi Hatterene, which is good. We didn't bring Lapras. Uh, I don't want to bring Lapras, really. Porygon 2 seems solid here. It doesn't really get, like, walled out by anything. Drain Punch might be on the Rillaboom, but uh, he needs that to, in order to be... Or, or, like, High Jump Kick could be on the... Uh, the Cinderace as well. But either way, I think that's fine. Amoongus seems really strong here to bring as well. Um, and then we don't really have much for his Amoongus, but I think that's okay. Um, Incineroar doesn't have the best time here against anything, but it's fine. I think another... He set the time without being ready himself. What a what a nerd. Anyway, so uh, a really cool thing that we could have also led here was pouring on 2 and, uh, and Incineroar. We could have fake out and... Uh, Try attack probably would take out Whimscott. It might not. Actually, it might not. We'll have to see. That's a damage cock worth knowing for this team. Um, or really for any kind of team that has Fake Out and Porygon on it. Because then you can set up really well against Whimscott while also still having the uh, ability to go for their, your uh, Trick Room set. Like a lot of the time, which is good. Um, but yeah, I didn't bring Lapras. I Maybe leading Lapras could have been really strong, depending on the lead that he has. If it's Whimscott plus uh, anything. Actually, that's a really weird lead actually a really weird lead so um i can go like double expanding force amoongus outspeeds um hatterene if uh so yeah we're just gonna go double expanding force i think that's really good it, it hits like whimsicott really hard as well which is good um i don't think he's gonna go for a rage powder turn one he'll probably spore the hatterene especially if it's not min speed um he just switches which is fine like expanding force isn't doing a lot of damage now but it's like okay um, taunt, never taunt Hatterene, dude. What are you doing? Um, so we almost take out Rillaboom, but we don't take out the Rillaboom, um, which is really bad. I don't really want to switch now. Um, so I think we're just going to like, I I'm really interested that, uh, and why he like taunted. Um, so yeah, we can like follow me this turn. He doesn't really have any spread that just like takes out Hatterene though. Um, so I don't really, I'm not like super worried about it. So I think I just want to like expand it for us, the Whimsicott and then go for, um, Go for, like, a max smite into Rillaboom. We could also just switch out Ndidi this turn, uh, but... Hmm. I think... Well, Expanding Force might kill the Rillaboom. It does. So we're going to smite the Whimsicott, and then next turn... Do we have any multiple hitting spread? Uh, Moonblast does no damage. Knockoff is really good here, actually, but, like, it doesn't have any attack. Oh, I thought Rillaboom was going to, uh, like, die to that. That was my bad. I probably should have done it the other way, but it's It's whatever. Now, uh, Rillaboom is taunted. I'm not even going to attack it this next turn, actually. I really don't want to. I'm going to, though. Um, just because in case it doesn't. So, we're going to hit Rillaboom. And then we're also going to hit, I guess, Mindstorm. And reset uh, Psychic Terrain into the Whimsicott. So, I think that's really good. Grassy Glide. He actually hits, um, which is really annoying. So, it's good that we targeted the Rillaboom. So, now we take out both of these Pokemon. And then uh, we have our terrain set back up, which is good for double expanding force. Um here upcoming so he still, still has two pokemon he has a moongus what's his other pokemon probably cinderace um if i had to guess yeah it is and he still has max um but we have follow me for this turn which is really good i feel like he's gonna max steel spike and ndd and then uh probably go for spore as well um so if he outspeeds and that's really bad but we'll see if it happens um we're gonna go into the amoongus this is gonna do huge huge damage oh wait no i was thinking that was uh oh well, it's fine um does it knock out it does knock out which is really annoying and let's see if he he pollen puffs um not gonna be enough to knock it out smite is gonna go ahead and do good damage but it's gonna confuse both pokemon which is the big deal back to normal so we're gonna head uh an expanding force here which is really good we can set trick room to make cinderace like late um but honestly at this point i, I kind of just want to start attacking so I kind of want to just like try attack probably into a Moongus. Now, if we set Trick Room, um, then 
Well, Amoongus is like... Cinderace is going to hit through. Yeah, so we have to. I mean, I guess we could ally switch it and, uh, and go for Trick Room. That's what we're going to do. Ally switch, go for Trick Room. Then uh, it doesn't... Oh, that, that sucks that he called that out, though. Um, well, I guess he didn't really call it out, but he just wanted to like hit it for the rest. Spore, Magic Bounce, boy, but it doesn't matter. Still just like good that it, uh, we won for that. So now we have Trick Room. We get to hit first with Hatterene, which is really good. We had, get to hit an Expanding Force, which hits a lot of damage, probably taking out the Amoongus, which is very good. Try Attack, hit the Cinderace. Um, we could go for... Hmm. So we could go for a Recover here, um, since Amoongus doesn't really clean up the end of the game by itself. But we would still, we would still get uh, taken down if he hits us. So we're just gonna go try attacking the Cinderace and try to hit like something. Um, oh, actually, we're just gonna take out the Amoongus and then uh, take out the Cinderace. <laughs> Perfect. That actually couldn't have gone better. Um, so yeah, that was a really good game actually. Porygon was really powerful. If you didn't see how much damage that Expanding Force did, like what expanding force double expanding force with indeedy and hatterene is absolutely mighty we didn't really get to use that at the beginning because we wanted to go for like a more um like no we did but he got rillaboom uh rillaboom's really good right now because of how scary this honestly is like it is very good against it rillaboom is actually the most used pokemon on picolytics right now which is weird um but yeah anyway that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed um i think ndd hatterene is actually really really powerful as we go on double expanding force is really good g max g max hatterene is absolutely insane trick room uh there's a lot of good fast pokemon trick room is really strong right now as well uh, we have a lot of good trick room setters dusclops hatterene hatterene and porygon 2 are the three mightiest probably um they're all very good i like i've been liking porygon 2 a lot um I, I think it's really good. Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment, hey, nice vid, if uh, if you want to. Um, it'll make my day a little bit brighter. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Jump into my Discord. Say, welcome, what's up? You're going to get a pretty warm welcome over there. Probably by me. Probably some from some other people as well. So um, do that. And, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a good next two months. Goodbye.